In 2007, a scientific exploration planted a Russian flag at the bottom of the Arctic seabed. What some publicly dismissed as a political stunt was privately considered in some circles a Sputnik-like moment. According to secret leaked cables published by WikiLeaks, the rest of the world began scrambling to make sure they got a piece of the Arctic pie. That's how I came to be at a U.S. Navy facility in the Arctic Circle to observe the escalating tension and activity in the region. Oh yeah, oh, that's brisk. <laughs> at daybreak, we headed out to rendezvous with one of the two U.S. nuclear submarines patrolling in the Arctic. You know planes, trains, and automobiles? The CNN version, ice planes, helicopters, and submarines. The helicopter dropped us and our equipment at the rendezvous site, a three-foot thick sheet of ice several miles away from the base camp. With no ocean in sight, hundreds of miles from the nearest cell phone tower, it was hard to imagine how on earth a submarine would find me. Are we a go for Iceman surfacing? Over. An X in the ice indicated where the submarine was to surface. Then the ground started to rumble. 